Feb 28, satellites detected an ice block disconnecting from Antarctica's Wilkins Ice Shelf, which later led to the crumbling descent of 406 square kilometres of ice into the ocean. Concerned by this unusual scale of disintegration, Dr. Ted Scambos, lead glaciologist at the University of Colorado in the US, invited an international team of scientists to observe the event more closely. He recently spoke with Supreme Master Television's correspondents in Colorado to explain the ice shelf's significance in relation to the greater effects of climate change. What's not normal is to see uh, melt ponds on the surface, uh, no sea ice in front of the ice shelf edge, um, uh, and this sudden breakup, not just in one big piece, but, but crumbling, disintegrating, absolutely uh, blowing itself up within just a few weeks. The other thing that the ice shelf doesn't recover from it. There's no regrowth, there's no new shelf that starts to push out in the mm. aftermath of one of these events. Dr. Scambos further explains that while scientists always knew that ice shelves are good indicators of warming temperatures in the air and water, what greatly surprised them was just how fast the system could respond. What's clear is that a difference does exist between natural Antarctic ice behavior and that being caused by warming ocean waters. In the poles, anybody who works in polar science, nobody questions whether or not we're in trouble because we see it in our field areas every year. And ice plates that had been there for 10,000 years since the end of the last ice age are gone because because the climate got that much warmer, and just in the last 20 or 30 years, it got that much warmer. Dr. Scambo stresses the need to take quick action in response to global warming. The problem is that if we take the view of we're going to try to put the brakes on this, and it may take us a whole century to do that, uh, the time scale for the Earth recovering naturally is very long, and we will be in for a lot of change in terms of how it impacts human lives for several centuries. Unless we take the attitude that we really need an aggressive uh, plan to right. address greenhouse gases, um, unless we take that attitude, we should be thinking about adaptation rather than mitigation. And I, for one, would like to see us end this. Arctic scientists echo the sentiments of other researchers and international experts on climate change. The alarming rates of natural changes indicate that we are running out of time to respond. There's a problem in the discussion about greenhouse gases, especially to the public, because all of the forecasts tend to go to the year 2100. That's not the case. There is no limit to how warm the world will get unless we set a limit. It's 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 paramount that people everywhere understand eventually it's up to us to stop this. It won't stop until we do it. The Wilkins Ice Shelf will continue to be monitored, especially in the next Antarctic summer's melt season. We thank Dr. Scambos and all scientists who are urgently studying the immediate effects of climate. With God's grace, may our global community act quickly to restore our ecological equilibrium for our present and future generations. Please tune in to Supreme Master Television for this upcoming exclusive interview with Dr. Ted Scambos of the U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center on current studies of Antarctic ice and global warming.